how to find the area of a triangle. Um, to introduce this, I want you to just think about how we would, first of all, find the area of this rectangle, okay? Because this rectangle can easily be made into two triangles, okay? Um, and so it's quite useful to be able to understand where the where the formula comes for the area of the triangle to first of all think about the rectangle as a whole, okay? If we were gonna find the area of this rectangle, we'd be doing length multiplied by width, okay? Um, but how about if we just wanted to find just the area of the triangle, i.e. half of that rectangle, okay? What we'd be doing then is we'd be finding the area of the whole rectangle and then dividing it by two, wouldn't we, okay? Now, the area of a triangle formula is actually the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So hopefully this relates to this because another way of writing length here is actually, well, that's the base of the triangle, isn't it? So that would be B for base. Just make that a bit smaller. Okay, so if I make that into a B instead, it's the base times by the height and then half it, okay? And it works, okay? So let's look at some examples. Um, here we are. So we've got some bases and we've got some heights. Let's write out the formula again. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. And so in this case, what we've got, the area is gonna be eight times four divided by two, which is 32 divided by two, which is 16 centimeters squared. And over here, we've got the base, which is 10, multiplied by the height, which is 7, divided by 2, which in this case is 70 divided by 2, which is 35, and in this case, millimeters squared, because these measurements are in millimeters, so 35 millimeters squared. Okay, the triangles can look slightly different. So there's some nice, easy, straightforward looking ones with bases and heights, very clear. Um, we could also have them like this. So again, we've got the bases and heights given, they're just not as obvious. Okay, but hopefully you can see that's a base there and that's a height, for instance. So let's go and have a look again. So let's write it out again. The area is base times height divided by two. So in both cases, first of all, we've got uh, this one, which is nine times four divided by two of 36 divided by 2, which is 18 centimetres squared. And over here, we've got, um, this one would be, what is it, 5 times by 3 divided by 2. So in this case, it'll be 15 divided by 2, or 7.5, again, centimetres squared. Okay, so really short, quick tutorial there. Hopefully that's nice and clear. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos as well.